going on blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of top drives today i wanted to dedicate an episode to duplicates now in my garage i have over 870 duplicates 83 of which are common 77 are uncommon 109 are rare in which 25 percent of them are literally just 1969 dodge chargers my favorite car of all time 203 are super rare 309 are ultra rare which is insane because i have 443 i I believe ultra rares in total that are fully upgraded and 309 of them are duplicates um six which also means that i have only about 140 ultra rares that are unique um 60 set or unique to themselves right um and then epics i have 67 25 legendaries to finish off the count so why do i want to talk about duplicates now i think duplicates are a good indication of what cars are more useful than others because when you think about it why would i get duplicates of a certain car especially why would i fully upgrade certain versions uh of some cars in the game over others it's because they're usually useful they get me more cash and clubs they get me more wins and races they get me more wins and events all that kind of stuff so i think duplicates is a fantastic representation of what cars i tend to use more what cars i like to use more but it's not a perfect indication and i want to let you know right now because you know their cars like the lancer 037 i only have one lancer 037 that doesn't mean that i don't think it's a good car it's because i can't drop a second 037 to, to save my life so rng does play a part but for the most part this this would be a good indication to show that if i pulled more than one of a car and i have more of one of that car upgraded or locked it means that it's actually going to be a pretty useful car in my opinion and this is a very um literal uh way to show it so let's get into it let's start with commons i have three suzuki k works fantastic i think this is the best rq10 because it has medium ground clearance it is very very light uh it handles well for an rq10 and it has a 0 to 60 of under 10 seconds which is also very good for an rq10 uh moving on we have the alphas now these used to be prize cars i'm not sure if they are and no, they're not prize cars anymore they used to be prize cars that's why i have them it's the same story for the volkswagen type twos they used to be prize cars we used to need them i think we used to need three the peugeot 404 it's the same story the Peugeot 305 it's the same story so you know it's a pretty interesting thing to see which duplicates were we forced to keep and which duplicates did I want to keep so you know these Volkswagens these Peugeots it's because I was forced to keep them by the game which is one thing that kind of annoys me with the game's design it tends to force you to get cars that you don't like which is a bit annoying when you're a car person with your own passions and you know you don't like some cars and you don't want to keep them but you have to because you want to progress in the game that's one thing that has been bugging me about top drives a little bit uh, but yeah plenty of firebird that's a fantastic car for RQ13 amazing handling on that we have two Suzuki cappuccinos the, the Frank Sinatra edition was because I thought this was going to be the next Chrysler that we were going to need, you know, the next Chrysler non-price prize car remember back in that time when we needed chryslers and they were key cars but they weren't literal prize cars like clutch was trying something new then and they were doing it doing this with all the, the the chryslers basically so i thought the next one they were going to do was going to be the frank sinatra that's why i got two just to get a little head start but that never happened so whatever uh jaguar xk 140 as well i was forced to get that but i don't mind having them in my garage because they're pretty okay because they have a high top speed for a common but I mean, having five of them is overkill. Now, the Chrysler Imperial, now, this one was a Chrysler that was a key car. Uh, a key car is not, like, useful, but, like, a literal, like, unlock, like, kind of key car. Uh, we have three Suzuki Alto Works. This is the best performance tire common for the twisty and the medium ground clearance because, well, it is medium ground clearance. It's also very light, lighter than the K Works, which I think is insane. Uh, it handles really well, low 0 to 60 as well. Just a great twisty all-rounder. We have two AMC. Spirit GTs, not a very good car. The only reason why I have two is because I'm an American specialist and I'm an American collector. The Smart 42 EVs, I absolutely freaking hate this car. I've had four of them, like you know, one star, five of them, one star for the longest time. But because they have the two tone tag, I decided to max one out as much as it pains me to do so. The win rates on this cars are abysmal. Um, as you can see, nine percent win ratio, 1,854 races. I use this car only to lose. Is nine percent the lowest actually? Six. 
six percent how about this one over here six percent all right so nine is probably the highest six percent six 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 i don't know why this one is nine this one might be a little higher just because it's mad. not even it's seven <laughs> okay um so moving on now we have launched 2000 hf coupes now this is basically like my front wheel drive uh common performance tire that i like to use on drags and like test bowls um when you think about it there are not a lot of front wheel drive cars in the game with high top speeds or low zero to 60s especially in the lower ranks so the launch 2000 is one of them uh we also have the xk 120s that was because we needed to get them in duplicates honda beat needs no introduction you're going to see a lot of blossom choice here in duplicates and it would be weird if i didn't have a lot of blossom choice in duplicates because that would just show that blossom choices are a bunch of bs if i didn't have those cars in duplicates but but fortunately i do um but yeah chrysler new yorker i think this was a key car at one point as well as in not a key car as in useful but key car as in it unlocks a new stage in a challenge this this is old top drive talk if you know you know i got two monte carlo ss's the blossom choice once again the best common dragster two rover 200s which was the best standard tire uh before the introduction of the fiesta i have three lagunas this one is fused material um it's just that i'm looking for two more common fused materials so that one's just sitting over there everything else is max though three nissan 260z's max two ford fiestas two ford escorts two imperials two bmw 2800s and three alfa romeo spider veloce so as you can tell a lot of these cars are very very useful like uh, the rs 1600 used to be very useful before the introduction of you know jpt um we have the 260s and of course the fiestas so let's move on to uncommons now and let's see what i have in duplicates first of all ford mustang 289 now this is the first case of i did not get duplicates because it's useful and i did not get duplicates because um i was forced to i got duplicates of the ford mustang 289 because i simply love the car that's it very very simple i love the ford mustang and because of that especially when i'm from 66 especially if it's convertible and especially if it's red that's my favorite spec of all time fantastic car though uh moving on is the two cobras and the two sunnies now funny story i got two cobras because you know they were really good they have 80 handling their medium ground clearance um, and they have a low zero to 60 but then they introduced the nissan sunny turbo which was better than the mustang cobra even though it handles less it's lighter and has a lower zero to 60 much much lighter 500 kgs lighter so because of that um this was a direct replacement to the Ford Mustang Cobra. So if I had two of these, I'm gonna need two of that um, because they're very useful cars. The Jaguar XK150, these were for the titanium packs, I think it were. Um, two Dodge Daytona Turbo Zs, fantastic car. Uh, amazing handling, low zero to 60. Two Dodge Colt Vista all-wheel drives, mostly because I'm a Dodge collector, but also because it has four-wheel drive and standard tires and medium ground clearance, which I thought was going to be very useful, but I've said this so many times. If you're going to have four-wheel drive and standard tires, you need handling. And unfortunately, this car doesn't have that good of a handling number, so I don't use it that often. In fact, I don't think I use it at all. 25 races, and I've had it for over a year. Yikes. Two Aston Martin Lagondas. This one I was forced to get two. I got one because I'm an Aston Martin collector. The second one was because of Horror Show. Two Plymouth Furies. Uh, one is 323 three, and one is drag spec this is because i like the car i actually had two of them before silver screen so that's pretty nice uh nissan sylvia j as well amazing handling two nissan leave nismos my, honestly many might argue that having two might not be enough i may need to get four or six also guys um let me know down in the comments below if you're watching with your garages open right now because maybe you can compare your duplicates to mine and see how many we have in common especially since if you're watching you probably know about the blossom choices as well i I have three Dodge Slingshots, two Suzuki Mighty Boys, one is Drag Spec, the 7.8, and one is 323 at 7.9, 60. I have two Nissan Patrol Nismos when they used to handle more and then they got cut. Um, five Aston Martin DB5s. This is literally only because I love the DB5. It is one of my favorite Aston Martins ever made. It was my favorite Aston Martin of all time before the DBS Superleggera came into production. So it's been my favorite Aston Martin for a very long time, basically throughout my entire childhood. I also love the one. 177 though 177 db5 and super Legera, i've said this before and i'll say it again has been my top three favorite aston martins of all time uh moving on is the dodge d100 fair low zero to 60 and then i have my go-to two-seater medium ground clearance okay that's a very good niche it handles well low zero to 60 and it's my chevrolet s10 extreme in fact i don't know if it has medium or high it's medium okay so i got four of those i have two subaru imprezas four-wheel drive standard and this one handles unlike the colt um two mazda rx7s this is these two cars are very very old um yeah 1117 
and 1,088. Those are some very, very old cars. I used to get a lot of value out of them, but not anymore. Uh, two Ford Escort RS 2000s, um, Ford Mustang Boss 302. Fun fact about these Ford Escorts, I maxed them both when they were uncommon. I actually didn't have them when they were rare. So that's a bit of a nice little profit there for me, I guess. Uh, Volkswagen Up GTI, it used to be the best city streets medium uncommon. That's been replaced now with the uh, Leaf. And then also we have the Nissan Super Turbo, which is the best city streets uh, uh, uncommon on the small. Uh, uh, I'm, I always get them mixed up though. This might be the best on the medium and the Pulsar should be the best or, or the Leaf, sorry, should be the best on the medium. It's one or the other. I'm pretty sure that this is the best one on the small and the, the other Nissan is the best on the medium. But either way, I have two of them as well. I have two Nissan Jukes. I think this was because of Horror Show. Had some kind of tag or was it Summer Games? It might have been Summer Games. It could have been Summer Games. Um, three, Nissan Dats and Bluebirds. To be honest, not enough. I need more of these. Fantastic cars. Uh, I've raced it 258 times. Only only it 130 days i get a lot of use out of this man 309 times 157 that's what two times a day around i, I use this car a lot uh three mods already in these um once again kind of like the mustang i just love the car it's not like it's useful or anything i just love it um i have four uh, four Taurus shows. This is my go-to low RQ saloon car um, because although it has low ground clearance, even though it shouldn't have, amazing handling, high top speed for an uncommon, over 150, and a relatively low zero to 60. This one, drag spec, isn't bad either. It goes under sub six seconds zero to 60 uh, while maintaining 80 handling, which is actually very impressive. I have three Renault Twizy F1s, two Nissan Fair Ladies, Z432Rs, four Mazda Yunus Roadsters, need no introduction over there, and two Lotus Europa 47 twin cams. So now let's move on to rare. And like I said, 25% of the duplicates you're going to see here are going to be 1969 Dodge Chargers, baby. My favorite car of all time. So Peugeot 205. The only reason why I have two of these, Year of the Tiger tag, that's about it. I dropped two, so I decided, you know what, I might as well just max two. Uh, Coronet as well. Uh, this used to be my go-to low RQ dragster when the Plymouth GTX used to be uncommon, but obviously it has moved up to rare. So I you know, I have the GTXs now, and of course I have two of them because they used to be very useful, they still are. Um, now this is a perfect example of once I max something, I don't sell it anymore. Honestly, if you're playing right now, you do not need two Coronet Super Bs. Hell, I don't even think you need one anymore because of the Plymouth GTX. But I had two of the Max because they used to be the best at the time when the GTX used to be uncommon, then it moves up to rare, which made my Coronets useless, but it doesn't really matter to me because I don't sell what I max, especially if it's a classic Dodge. So I kept them around and uh, you know, here they are and they're gonna stay here forever. Um, Opel Monza 400 rallies as well. I have two of each, very, very useful car. Amazing handling, quite funny. I used to favor using the 400, um, but in the end, I kind of moved over to the Manta 400 rally just because, you know, it has plus two handling, but this has minus three zero to 60. Uh, moving on. Chevrolet Impala SS. This is my go-to low RQ saloon dragster. Uh, I usually, I think I use the drag spec more. Let's have a look. So 217 races. Oh, but I have them owned for different days. So it's not the perfect representation, isn't it? 368. But you can tell that if you did the average races divided by days or whatever, I use the Impala more. So, you know, yeah, the, the drag spec more, I mean. I have two Balsall Cascadas. I think this was either Horror Show or Summer. I think it was Horror Show. I had three at one point. Okay, I did sell one which kind of contradicts the whole oh I don't sell what I max but this isn't a dodge and I still have two and I'm going to keep two it's just that three I felt was a bit overkill uh, especially for a car that I barely use um, and then uh, I have two Bentley Turbo R's two Opel GT's two Nissan Silvias, two Rams, two MX-5s, two Denali's. Oh my God, I hope we get three of something because I don't like looking at the diagonal. I prefer it if they're all straight. Um, but yeah, uh, Acura Integra is fantastic car. Subaru Impreza, fantastic car. Great handling, four-wheel drive, standard tires, low zero to 60. Well, not low zero to 60, but for its niche, you know, four-wheel drive standard, just a good car in general. Uh, and then we have how many of these? We have seven Pontiac Firebird Trans Ams. Now this was my go-to rare dragster before the introduction of the 69 Charger. So unfortunately, because of the 69 Charger, the Firebird Trans Am is a car that I never use anymore. Um, 658 races and I've owned it for over a thousand days. All of them are drag spec besides these two. 
This one is 969, and I think this one is just 888. Eight, eight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just 888. Eight, eight. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, moving on with two BBRs, two stealths, uh, two Hornets. See, this is organized. I like this. Oh, it's not gonna be organized for long because I have five of the defenders. To, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, I three S's and the Hornets. All of these are fantastic cards. They're blossom choices. I mean, obviously. Um, Land Rover 110s as well, I got five of those. Four Chevettes. This is like a garage tour, but only the duplicates. Um, Nissan Stegia, I got four of them. Obviously, I love the Stegia. Oh my god, it's 444 because I have four Chevettes, four Stegias, and four Demon Roadsters, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and then we have three Subaru Exiga Crossover 7s, which brings us back to the nice OCD, you know, organized 222 formation. Uh, we have two Nissan Silvia Ks, two Pathfinders. Now, the Pathfinder, I kind of got it because of JPT height you don't really need two of these it's a pretty decent all surface tire four wheel drive it handles okay um but it definitely don't need two uh if anything you probably need two of the exiga crossover um you don't need three but you know sometimes i like to go overkill on some things um and then we have two at least 1.6s and three ford escort rally specs now of course let's raise for the national anthem because my goodness let's look i think i have 25 or 26 fully upgraded 1969 Dodge Chargers. As you know, I will never, ever, 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 ever sell one. Okay, never. Just never. Every 1969 Charger I get, I will have it maxed and locked and kept in my garage. I do not care. I want 100, 200, 300, 400. I want my entire garage to be nothing but this one day. Um, if I ever quit, I'll just sell everything and keep the Chargers. Um, I have two Chrysler 200 Cs, uh, two Malibus, two Arnages. This is drag spec. Now, a lot of these cars that you see in duplicates, they have the same tune. Uh, that's why they have different tunes I tend to specify. And then I have two Aston Martin Virages and this one. One is drag spec this one is 323 so let's move on to super airs now now super airs you're going to see some spares so maybe what i should do is go into fully upgraded i think that would be a bit more interesting because it only if i have fully upgraded versions of duplicates that means that they're very useful i might stick to this situation with ultra airs as well but when we get to epics and legendaries then i'll cut the fully upgraded tag um but yeah lotus elise uh, i got two of these um the only reason why i have this one drag spec was because of the 905b remember that i think i needed to use like a stupid like volvo or something but i didn't have it and i needed to save rq somewhere so i used the lotus elise on the drag it was something like that uh but i have this drag spec it's gonna stay here my garage uh it's it's a painful memory if anything uh but yeah i accidentally exited there so status duplicates fully upgraded uh super yep all right so let's go back um yeah two of those um i don't know why the ford explorer is here because you can clearly see i only have one Maybe because I have duplicates of it, but it's only showing me the fully upgraded version. So that might be a version Y. So if they're just going to show me that anyway, I might as well just get rid of duplicates. I think that's the reason, isn't it? Um, oh, no, now I'm just showing fully upgraded. Um, if I just get rid of... What am I getting? I'll get rid of fully upgraded. That's what I want to get rid of. So, oh, okay. I get it. I get it. So it doesn't matter. If you have duplicates of the car, they're still going to show it to you. Well, you know what? Let's just put in fully upgraded anyway. Uh, so boom. So let's move on. If we see one of each, it's because I have a, a fused material version uh, lying around. Uh, I have two Avenger RTs. This is my go-to like low RQ saloon, medium ground clearance, A9 handling, as well as, you know, once again, medium ground clearance, low zero to 60 as well. Fantastic little machine. Uh, I have six Cadillac ELRs and all of them are used very very often 505 days 975 races okay this one over here 831 days almost 2,000 races bro this one 411 days 493 races I'm pretty sure all of them have more races than I have owned them for 565 1526 you get the gist of it um 292411 and finally we have 1,060 3,288 races man the ELR is fantastic um i only have one of these cars each the only reason why you're seeing them here is because like i said they they're duplicate versions of their fuse material of their stock versions in my garage i guess i have two caliber rts so maybe this is something that hutch needs to fix with the the, the duplicate tag because th this these this is not clear this is clearly not a duplicate like this is only the fully upgraded ones i don't know maybe this is a bit of a loophole that i found um but yeah moving on uh, i have two k5s this was my go-to low rq off-roader with four-wheel drive um before the introduction of the Ford Bronco because this is American Dream but this is American Frontier so this came out a lot later but I got two of those um, I also have two Max Citroen C2 R2s uh, two Acura Integra Type R's 
Um, what else do I have here? I have three 911s. These are all very, very, very old. 1,501 days. 1,501 days. That is insane. Um, I have four Max Mira P400s. Uh, obviously, fantastic drag car. Um, two Lamborghini LMO. Two, two Scirocco's. Now, this one, forced to get duplicates because it was like Riders of the Storm or some crap like that. Um, two Lavorks. Fantastic car in general. Uh, two Frontier Attacks. Uh, I also have three Ford Flexes, which, you know, you know me. I love the car. I freaking love the car. Medium ground clearance, amazing handling, four-wheel drive, standard tires. I have five Fiat uh, Abarth 131s. It's because for the longest time, this was the only off-road saloon car. Or the only off-road car with saloon tires. Now they've added more like the Dodge Avenger and American Frontier. JPT has added even more. But for the longest time, before American Frontier, this was the only option. And that's why I had five of them. I could make an entire hand of just straight up off-road saloons if I needed to. Always be more prepared. Better, better be safe than sorry, right? Um, but yeah, I have two Renault R21s. Three R20 Reynolds as well. I know a lot of French cars for Blossom. Uh, two Opel GTs. Uh, moving on, I think these are all because I have fused materials of the same car lying around. I I I've been meaning to get a second twin turbo though. I need a second one, drag respect, uh, to get it to I think 4.40 to 60 uh, because that car has decent MRA. I have four Lotus Elise Sprints. Two Jaguar XJS Transams, which did help me a lot in the uh, in the uh, owner's challenge, even though I didn't finish it. Uh, three Mustang GT convertibles, four Datsun uh, 240Z rally cars. Once again, all these are just very, very useful cars. Right? This is a fantastic super air for the city streets. This is a fantastic super air for off-road rear-wheel drive. And that's it. All of these are just because I have uh, duplicate versions of their stock counterparts. Uh, so let's move on now to Ultra Rare. So, uh, once again, fully upgraded and duplicates. So let's get into it. Um, now, Ultra Rare is probably my favorite because these are the cars that I use OD, bro. Like, I, I just, just straight up. Alright, so let's look at my Ultra Rare collection. I'm, I'm always proud of my Ultra Rare collection. There's always an Ultra Rare in my garage that is being upgraded. There's never a time in my garage where there, there's no Ultra Rare being worked on. So right now, I'm working on some crappy Porsche came on, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, two Nissan Pulsars. Uh, this one is 233. Uh, no, sorry, this is 323 with a lower 0 to 60. This is 233 with a 5.0 to 60. Uh, three Lotus Elise. One is for the slalom, but I do use the non-slalom specs a lot more, which are the 699 versions. I have a 699-969 Megane, uh, two Solstice at the same, no, not the same tune. One is 969, because this one is old, uh, 820 days at the start of American Dream. This one is pretty young. I uh, had it for 465 days, so about half the age. Um, Opal OPC Extreme, got two of those. Uh, four Opal Adams as well, because, you know, front-wheel drive off-road. Um, let's see, two Lamborghini Countach, Thanos Countaches, and three Charger 3s. I need more Charger 3s in my life. Three is not enough. I really, really want more. Uh, Volvo V90, fantastic little hybrid car that thing is. Uh, moving on, we have four Dodge Circuit EVs, two Charger Daytonas, two BMW 640Ds, um, and two Mira SVs. Now, this is because diesel, um, this is because medium ground clearance drag and great MRA, and this is because this is like the American version of the Lotus Elise 135. Uh, I have five Caterham 7270s. I freaking love this car. I think I only have five. If I have a sixth, I think I would have maxed it already. Two Desires. Um, I also have two Neons, two Nitros, uh, three Trailblazers. One is 969, and I have to be honest with you, I never use the 969, like never. Um, you know, this is only how many races? 759 races compared to 3,300 and uh, oh, only 394. Actually, this isn't a lot, but this is, I guess, a relatively, it's not even that new, man. I've had it for almost two years now. Um, four BMW 520D X drives, two Bulldogs, both drag spec. I have three Acura TLXs. Now, this car I use a lot as well. Um, 173 days, 291 races. So, you know, more races than I've had it owned for days. 301 days to 480. And finally, we have 420 and 781. 420, very nice. There's always one car in here that's always going to have 420 in stats. The 
there's so many cards in here. One of them has that 420. Uh, two Maybach, two X-Types, uh, two Suzuki Ignises, and five Opal Corsas. Of course, I need an entire hand of the Atoms. I need an entire hand of the Corsas. I don't even have an entire hand of the Atoms. I think I only have four Atoms. Um, two Mitsubishi Lancer Evo Ones. I have three Honda Civic Type Rs, one of each. This is 996. This is 699, and this is 969. Uh, I also have two Aerovets. Um, I have three AMG G63s, two Charger SRT8s, two Charger Daytonas, two Challenger SRT8s. This is literally because I'm a Dodge collector, guys. These cars aren't even that good. The Charger Daytona is pretty good, to be fair. But then, you know, the Challenger and the Charger SRT8, not that good. I do get some use out of my drag spec, though. I really do. Uh, and the AMGs, two of them are drag spec. Uh, these two are drag spec, and this one is 323, because that was a mistake. Um, two Chrysler Aspen Hybrids, only reason why I have two of them is because Chrysler events and clubs show up from time to time, so, you know, if there's any off-road, I got those two at my disposal. Uh, I had three at one point, but I fused one away. Uh, two Grand Sports, uh, I also have two Aston Martin Vantages, two ZDXs, I had to max a second one, it was forced, um, for Horror Show, because this really isn't my go-to four-wheel drive standard, although it is four-wheel drive standard, I, they're just cars that handle better, like the BMW. Um, I have two Magons, fantastic, uh, we got 969 and 699. Uh, three Nissan Silvia 200. SX's, two Nissan 370 Nismos, to be fair, very good car on paper, but I barely use it, honestly. Only 14 races, uh, but really good win ratio though, 83. And how about this one? I think this is the older one, so I've used it a little more. 39 races, you see? So I don't use it a lot, although it has really good stats on paper. I have two Maserati Quattropotes, because, you know, standard tire, Italian, the only one that's ultra rare. Four Lotus 340Rs, once again, if I got a fifth one, I'm maxing the fifth one. All are 699, by the way. I do not care that the 969 is better at slalom. I, I, I genuinely do not care. The fact that the 340R is better on every other track set, that's what I care about. Um, I have two power boxes, two Z4M coupes, two Virage Volantes. This one is 996. This is nine, uh, 969, actually, because uh, Aston Martins used to be better 969 back in the day. Um, this one is pretty old as well, having it at 647 days. Um, but yeah, the Virage Volante. Uh, this is always one of those cars where people are asking, you know, which one should I go for? Usually, I say 699 first, because I feel like it should get a handling buff, but um, you know, if you want to know what they look like max, this is drag spec 3585, this is 969 3687, and I think 699 should be 3688 somewhere along those lines. Um, two Aston Martin DB3Ss. Now this one is, I think, yep, 699, got that one right. And this one is 969. Uh, sorry, this is 996. This is my drag spec, 3.9. Um, I also have two GTOs. Uh, one is 699, one is 969, as you can tell from the top speed difference. The, the one at the lower top speed is always gonna be 699. Uh, Ford Expedition Platinum. Uh, this is my drag spec version. The only reason why I have two of these is because it's like the Trailblazer if I can't use the Trailblazer. So there's any American Frontier event where I can't even use the Dodge Durango and I can only use Altraires and below, I see that as the only event where the Ford Expedition Platinum would actually be useful in. And it has to have, obviously, drags. Um, two Dodge Stealths, three M5s, one of a kind, 699, 969, and 996. I just love the E39 M5. That's it. That's the only reason why I love it. I love the E39. Um, and then I have three Suzuki C2s um, as well. Uh, two of them are 699, and this one is the drag spec, as you can th see, 3.388. Really insane. Calling that car a drag spec, but it's 88 handling. Um, I have my army of martinis. I got six of them. I was collecting this just for memes. I like the car. Uh, three R32s. They used to be really, really good. Now it's kind of just eh. Also three of a kind, actually. This is... Uh, 969. Uh, so that is 969. This is 996. Yep, this is the drag spec, which used to be my favorite one, and then it got nerfed, and the MRI isn't good anymore. And then we have the 699. Uh, moving on, we have two Mustang GTs. Uh, I had both of these actually when they were epic. Uh, so they've been around for a very, very long time. 1,560 days, my god. 1,493, oh my goodness. The thing is, I had both of them when they were ultra. Then they both went to epic. I did nothing with them when they were epic. I just kept them around. Then they went back to ultra. And then I finally maxed out the second one. So, you know, it's been here for a long time. Three Dodge Viper RT10s, two Guaras. I got some Aston Martins collections over here. Um, I have two Forester STIs. This one is relatively young, this one over here. 
should be about a week, I would say five days, not even a week. Um, two 708 Boxsters, two Torrents, um, two Exige S1s, one is 969, one is 699, as you can tell from the handling difference. Uh, three Rally Specs, uh, one is 699, which I never use. I wish I had a 996 version for that one event where you needed it for the Ocean City Streets. Um, two XC90s, uh, three Golf TCRs, two Tamoras. Uh, two Legacy uh, S401s as well. I got my Hell Sushi as well. I love this car, by the way, Drag Spec. Uh, still, it's one of those cars where people are like, Blossom, I don't understand why you're saying Drag Spec on this car. It has a shit 0 to 60. It does! It does have a horrible 0 to 60. You are correct, but it's a specialist. You know, it's the best like Subaru dragster for the Outra. That That's literally why. It beats Max, up, uh, Max Epics, to be fair, on the drag. Um, Max Subaru. Epics on the drag. Obviously not max Aston Martin CC100s or Chargers or anything like that. Um, two Boxsters, uh, four Carrera GTS rallies because I don't have the O37. Um, I only have one. Uh, and then a Porsche 911 RS, four uh, Evo 4s. Uh, I have six of them though. I can max two more if I wanted to. Uh, two XJs, uh, two Ford Focuses. This one is drag spec. This one, no, sorry. This one is drag spec, 4.3. And this one, I, th I believe is 699. Yes, very nice. Uh, two Ford Edge sports two charger srt8s once again if you have any more questions on how i tune these cars let me know in the comments below but like i said most of them are about the same if they have a difference in the in the zero to 60 is because one is 969 one is 699 uh, but this one is drag spec though this one is 996 um this one is 969 this one is 699 there you go um two cts two acura nsx same tune on those uh two box on the loose Five roof BTRs. Freaking love this car. Um, three of them are drag spec. One is 969, which is this one. And this one is 699, as you can see over here. Um, two AMG S63s. Two Challenger 392s. Uh, four Colorado ZR2s. Three of them are 969. And the fourth is 699. Um, this is a very confusing car to upgrade, to be honest. Uh, but you do need a 699 version for certain track sets. Uh, three repeat S's. Two Auto Deltas, finally. Uh, I couldn't get these to save my life, but finally I got two of them. Uh, one, one, unpack the other, and two Abarf O3Os. But with that said, let's move, let's get rid of the fully upgraded and go to Epics. So, Epics is a clear indicator. If I have duplicates of these Epics, it usually means that they're good, because if I don't have duplicates of them, it's because they're not. And like, I only have one because I would have fused the other version. But let's have a look. Cadillac XT5 is a special occasion because it used to be ultra rare. It's been moved up, and I had two of them when they were ultra rare, so that, you know, I kind of just kept them around. Emerge E, it's a very good Epic, but also there were a lot of JPT packs at the time, and I got this car a couple times, and I never fused one away because, you know, it's a good car. I have two Challenger RT scat packs. I only need one because I'm a Dodge collector. The other one is fused material. I have two XKR 75s and two XKRS GTs. Now the XKRS GT, this one is too smart because of the owner's challenge, but also because I like the car. Fun fact about the owner's challenge. Um, I went up to round 21 in the video, but after I two start the XKRS GT, it actually pushed me all the way to 24. I was two rounds away from winning the Macan actually, and I could have won the Macan if I I fully upgraded all four of these paired with my CX-75. I am NOT maxing four of these. I like this car, so I'll max one of them, but I'm not maxing a second one. I don't like it that much, and I'm definitely not maxing two of these. If anything, I might just upgrade one for a year of the Tiger, but there was no way in hell was I going to upgrade all four of them for that Macan, because when you think about it, I would have lost 40 ultra rares, over 40 ultra rares, and also two potential fuse epics. Not worth it. Um, I have two Porsche 911 GT3s. I, I just love the fried egg headlights, so that's why I have two of them. I love the 996 generation. And not 996 in upgrade, just 996 as in the 911 generation. Um, the Chevrolet Camaro Z28, this one's from the campaign, so this is my oldest epic ever. Uh, 1,597 days. Um, Aston Martin V12 Vantage, I got two of those. Two Dodge Rapper SRT10s, two roofs, two, once again, 996 generation GT2. Um, two Chevrolet Corvette Stingrays, as you can see, these are cars that I just love, right? German, Aston Martin, Porsches, Dodge. Um, that's why I have duplicates of all these cars. I have two M3 GTSs because price car. Three 911 Carrera RSRs. I still need to 233 a second one because this one, I... Oh, it hurts. It hurts, man. It hurts. I hate it so much. Why did I listen to that one guy? Um, it's it's old though. It's, it's, it's very, very old. 925 days. I have two I-Paces. Um, everybody knows I have six 
Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcats. Three of them are fully upgraded. I have two M3 CSs. Both of them are fully upgraded. Uh, one I actually just recently fully upgraded. Two W12 Roadsters. However, this one's probably going to go pretty pretty soon. Uh, two Peugeot E-Legends. Uh, two Pagani C12s. The second, this, this car is actually pretty good, but I might fuse it away if the going gets tough. Uh, two fully upgraded GTSRs. Two Lincoln Felters. Two Ford Mustang GT4s. And six, of course, uh, Dodge Charger SRT Hellcats. Uh, wrapped it up with a nice bow on top. I got two wide bodies, obviously got them uh, both from the same 10 million pack opening, 411, this should be 412. Uh, oh no, 411, both of them. Uh, three Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 9s, two Continentals, and two Audi RS6 Avants. So as you can see, there, there's some very, very strong cars in here. Um, and a lot of them are my favorites as well. So a lot of Dodge duplicates. Now let's wrap off with my 25 legendaries. So um, it was the legend Legendaries were looking good. It was always 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 until my most recent 1 million pack opening when my Cadillac 32 became a Cadillac 48. So I got three of those now, kind of, you know, ripping up the entire, you know, OCD and, uh, you know, the, 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 it used to be organized and it's not anymore. It's all in diagonals now. It's annoying me. Uh, diagonals all the way up to the Cadillac 16. So these are my legendaries and duplicates. I've always wanted to talk about this. So two AMG GTSs. Useless. Don't get any use out of these. I mean, honestly, if you get duplicates of these two, I'm sorry. Um, once again, same story for these two. If you have duplicates of the CTSV Sport Wagon, I'm sorry. Once again, same story. If you have duplicates of the BMW 640i, I'm sorry. <laughs> They are crap duplicates of crap legendaries. I I'm not happy about any of them, but whatever. I don't sell legendaries and you should never sell legendaries. Just keep them in my garage and I look at them in pain. Um, two Ford GTs, to be fair, they're both also useless, but they are my first ever legendaries, both of them. 1,561 days and 1,542 days. Yep, yep, yep. There was a time in my garage when I had one McLaren 12C and two Ford GTs. Um, still waiting for the day when they're gonna be useful in something. Um, I also have two Paganis on that. How is this not silver screen? Seriously, what? They could have just. Oh, come on, man. This could have been silver screen. Um, I have two Pagani. I mean, when you think about it, like, it's literally Jeremy Clarkson's and Dark Demuro's car. Like,. This, like, when you think of Top Gear, when you think of Jeremy Clarkson, this is the car that you think of, the four GTs. Like, when you think of Richard Hammond, you think of, um, what's it, the Opal Cadet, Oliver. So, ah, it's just, it's pain. Um, yeah, two Pagani's on the Fs. I have, what is his notification? My Instagram, something. Um, two Pagani's on the Fs. I got two Syracuse's, one's Max, one is Stock. Yes, Blossom has a Stock Dodge Legend. And then my Mechanic 48. So, I'm Mechanic 48, gang. I do want to max this out 996, uh... Probably not gonna be anytime soon, but you know, it's on the list. Um, Nissan GTR, I got two of those. Two Monte Carlo Turbos, two F Pace SVRs. This one, yes, you saw, I pulled recently. Not as recent as my Cadillac 16 now. Um, also, uh, BMW M5, I uh, got two of those. And finally, two Lamborghini Aventador S Roadsters, uh, cream of the crop. It's just fantastic, isn't it? I have three duplicates of RQ80s. Um, I wish I had three duplicates of RQ95s or something. Like, imagine having like two Koenigsegg Agera Finals or something, or Koenigsegg Regera or something like that like that would be sick but I don't have that I also have a lot of duplicates of 86s I have you know two Zondas two Syracuse and three 16s even 87s you know 87 87 87 89 and 95 there you go I mean if I really wanted a duplicate of a car that you could unpack I would love duplicates of like what, what would I love duplicates of um, all these are prize cards I look at the top. I mean, I have the 962. I would love duplicates of that. Yeah, I want duplicates of the Agera final. That's that's my wish list right there. I, I want that. That would be that would be sick. Um, thinking about legendaries that I already have though, if I could pull another one of something, I would love to get a second Stelvio. That would be sick. Um, a second. King Donk would be pretty sick, I would say. Viper ACR any day as well, of course. I would love a second Hollywood. I would max a second Hollywood. I genuinely would. Um, what else would be a pretty sick card to get duplicates of? Um, the Exige. Cup 430. Not bad, to be fair. I would get that one. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else I would get duplicates of. Oh, ATSV. I would love ATSV duplicates, okay? I don't want the CTSV duplicates. I want the ATSV duplicates. I don't care about the MRA in this. I want the handling in this. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Those are all the duplicates in my garage. I hope you found it helpful. Um, definitely, you could see that there are a lot of useful cars that I have in duplicates. And that's the reason. That's the reason why I have them in duplicates. Because they, you can get value out of them. You know what I mean? But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Peace.